I always was driven by the fact that to have a place at the table was not based on male or female. It was about skill, it was about talent, and it was about professionalism. And if I didn't hit those three, then I had no place at the table. And we did, and some. <laughs> um, and therefore, we're, you're always correctly judged as you start out in our business on your last projects, your deliverables, how they, how, what they've achieved. And we, were, we started to get a very good track record. So we had that voice in that place. I look at our uh, clients in Munich, they're all women in the boardroom. And so perhaps that landscape is changing for sure it is, and the excitement of the opportunities ahead is, is stronger than ever. In other industries, closing the gap is harder for women yes. and getting that, that equality. What advice would you give? What do you want to see happen? It is terribly important we have a voice. It is terribly important that we do what we're doing, but also we must be balanced and recognize that around us, there are some fairly powerful important women impacting the industries. So it's happening, so it's around us. So I think we have to embrace that and do the best with it. With Brexit looming, how is that going to impact what you do? How do you feel it's impacting the UK in terms of property and investment in your sector? We have for some time ensured that our company is not UK orientated or based. I have a headquarters that I run out of London. However, the majority of our work is either in Asia, the US and Europe. Back home, uh, the climate is so uncertain. It is uh, a really vulnerable time for everybody. And the truth is, I don't think anyone really knows. I can speculate. For us as a company, I think it's the pool of talent. I think we have always had such terrific people from all over the world, and, and it definitely affects the deeper dive into the talent pool for us. If there's one piece of advice you could give to those you've built up your own company, you're in a powerful position, what would that be? Don't be stopped by your own insecurities. You know, the, the limits you set yourself, you're setting. So I think to be confident, you must always work hard at your skills and be as much as you can the top of your game. I think to be a young man setting up your own company today must be as intimidating as a young woman in many ways. I really believe that. I think the world today is hugely resourceful. We are really at the most competitive times of our lives to even, even if you've been in business for 17 years to keep being in business. So I don't think one should sit back and expect anything to come easy. It doesn't. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.